All right, I'd like you to start this video by pausing and then um, for the function f of x equals 1 fourth x squared, I want you to first find f prime of 2 using the first formula, the f prime of c formula. Then I'd like you to find the derivative function, in other words, find f prime of x. And then once you find f prime of x, then use that formula to find f prime of 2, and obviously you should get the same answer for both because you're basically finding the slope of the tangent line at 2 in two different ways. Okay. Then, uh, once you have the slope, I want you to find the equation of the tangent line at x equals 2. So I started by writing the, uh, the formula for the derivative at a point, and that x value, or the c value, is 2. So it's f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 over h, and we'll take the limit. So f of 2 plus h you find by plugging 2 plus h in for x squared. So it would be 1 fourth 2 plus h squared minus 1 fourth 2 squared all over h. So when you simplify, evaluating the 2 plus h squared, or, or um, expanding, you get 4 plus 4h plus h squared. So we'd have 1 fourth times that and minus 1 fourth times 4. So we'll simplify again getting 1 plus h plus 1 fourth h squared minus 1 over h. Taking the limit of that, we can cancel the 1's. We'll factor out an h. We get the limit as h approaches 0 of h times 1 plus 1 fourth h over h, factoring out that h. Cancel the h's. When I substitute in the 0, I just, this goes to 0, so I get 1. So what I've just learned was that that f prime of 2 is equal to 1. So now we'll, we'll find the, the slope generating formula using the definition of a derivative. So almost the same exact process, only now I use x instead of 2. So I have the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So this equals equals 1 fourth x plus h squared, and there we're just substituting the x plus h in for the x squared, minus f of x, which is 1 fourth x squared over h. We'll expand, and this first piece right here represents f of x plus h and then minus f of x is right here. And again, good things happen because the 1 fourth x squareds cancel, leaving us with h times 1 half x plus 1 fourth h over h once we factored out the h. We can cancel the h's. When we substitute in for uh, the 0, we end up getting 1 half x. And so that is our f prime. So we're saying f prime of x is equal to 1 half x if f of x equals 1 fourth x squared. So part c here says find f prime of 2 using this formula. So f prime of 2, I would just substitute in a 2 for the x, and I get 1, which we, again, we already knew that answer. We did it the other way. We found the slope of the curve at um, x equals 2 by just plugging in the 2 in the original. Now that we have the slope, um, we can write the equation of the tangent line. We need our slope and we need an ordered pair. And so the slope we get from f prime of 2. So the slope is 1. That equals m. The ordered pair we get from just plugging 2 into the original function so f of 2 is 1 fourth times 2 squared, or 1 fourth times 4, which is 1. And so now I have an ordered pair of 2, 1. The x value is 2, the y value is 1, and so I substitute in y minus y1, which is 1, equals m, the slope happens to be 1, times x minus 2, 2 is my x coordinate. When I simplify, I get y equals x minus 2, and then I have to add the 1 back. So y equals 
x minus 1. That is basically the slope, uh, that is the tangent line. So f of x, f of x is equal to 1 fourth x squared. f prime of x is the slope generating formula, or the derivative, which is 1 half x, and then y equals x minus 1 is the slope of the, is the actual, sorry, is the actual tangent line. And so I think it's always a good idea to graph the original function with the tangent line to see if you've done it right. So I want to make it clear that right now we're graphing the original function and the tangent line. We are not graphing the derivative. So we will put the 1 fourth, so 1 divided by 4, x squared, that's my original function, that's in my y1. My y2 is the y equals x minus 1. That's the equation of the tangent line. The derivative is a slope generating formula. I'm not going to graph that right now. And I'm going to do a zoom 6, which is a standard window. There's my original function. There's my tangent line. It looks pretty good if I trace on 2 and hit enter. I like to zoom in at least once, so let's zoom in. You can zoom in more times to explore a little bit um, and watch that curve flatten out. Um, but you can see there that for values very close to that point of tangency, the curve is actually behaving like a line. In the last example here, I just want to kind of summarize how to answer a question if you're not even given a function, but you're just just using the notation. So we have f of negative 2 equals 3 and f prime of negative 2 equals negative 4. It says find the equation of the tangent line to the curve y equals f of x at x equals negative 2. So in order to find the equation of a tangent line at a curve, we need to know two things. We need to know the slope of the curve at that value and we also need to know an ordered pair, the actual ordered pair on the original curve. And so f of negative 2 equals 3, that is, that gives me the ordered pair. So that gives me the point of tangency. f prime of negative 2 tells me that the slope of the tangent line at x equals negative 2 is negative 4. So I know my slope is negative 4. And so we do y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, and I plug in y minus 3 equals negative 4 times x minus a negative 2. So simplifying and putting that in slope intercept form, we get y equals negative 4x minus 5. So that is the, the tangent line. So as long as you have an ordered pair and you have the slope, you can come up with the equation of a line. So I'd like you to pause the video and do the next pra do the practice problem below, given the same type of information. I want you to find the equation of the tangent line to the curve at x equals 6. So we said we needed an ordered pair. The ordered pair is 6, 4. The slope you get from f prime. So m is equal to 3, using the slope intercept, uh, uh, the point slope formula of a line. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Plugging in, and then simplifying. So I get 3x minus 18, I'd have to add 4 to that. So I get y equals 3x minus 14. Alright, so at this point, um, I'm going to end this video. 